What's up everyone? Today we're going to be solving leak code 665, non-decreasing array. The input is given like this, the output needs to be true or false, and the condition is every given element must be greater than or equal to the element immediately behind it, and by nature, everything behind that one. Okay, so this doesn't work. So we have to, 6 can't be greater than or equal to 5, 6 can't be greater than or equal to 3. Now, when we run into this situation, there's two things we can do because what the question asks us to do is to modify at most one. So when you come into a question like this, uh, input like this, we have to either modify this one or this one. Now I wrote these two examples because the solution is going to be using uh, either modifying this one or this one versus this one or this one, and we'll get into why. The solution for this is inspired by, comes from a user, Kai Hao, and his, I'll put his link in the description and video thing below. But pretty much we keep a counter and we see how many times are we modifying anything. Now the trick to finding out if whether we should modify this, this guy, if we should make this six into five or we should make this five into a six is as follows. Let's start. Boolean non decrease int nums and we result we have a result okay we'll start from the first index not zero so for int i equals one i is less than nums dot length i plus plus now if nums of i is greater than nums of i minus 1, what we're going to do is we're going to check first increment result because we know we have to do a modification. Now which one we're going to modify, let's get into that. If i is equal to 1, meaning if we're just starting this for loop, or if it's a situation like this where nums nums i minus 2 is less than or equal to nums of i we should be changing the one in the middle so we need to make this equal to 455 five. so this needs to become nums of i minus 1 is set to nums of i else what we're going to do is we're going to change this one so this one is going to become 466 six. because what happens if we try changing this to 3 right it'll be 433 three. we can't have that else nums of i equals nums of i minus 1 and that's the uh, that's the else, that's the if, and that's the outer for loop. And then all we have to do is return true. We have to return if, if result is less than or equal to 1 because we can only modify at most 1. And that's pretty much how you solve this problem. So let's look back at what we did. There's two cases. Pretty much we see, hey, am I going to make this 6? Am I going to change a 6 or am I going to change this 5? Am I going to change this three, six, or am I going to change this th three? If the, this guy is less than or equal to this guy, then I'm going to change the one in the middle. If this, if this guy is greater than this, I'm going to make this equal to six, because I cannot make it equal to three. We lose the whole condition. Uh, thank you to Kaihao for, for inspiring this solution. If you like this video, please subscribe. It'll motivate me to make some more.